Hey, here is Joe again and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where I did do a bit off screen. As you can see, there is a new large room and a secondary room below here. This room is just uh, a fake room. You can't access it. It just has uh, reinforcements like halfway around just to make the base stable because I didn't want to clutter everything with like the weird reinforcements. I'm not completely done yet. Also, I went around and marked some stuff like uh, the wreckage we found and where Omega actually is in that cave because that's not as easy to find the copper mining site. And I also wanted to mark outpost zero, which I didn't do. Great. But we'll find that again because that's actually easy to find. The interior has also changed a bit. We have one more locker. This is raw. This is processed. Uh, and we got uh, the water filtration machine. I built it up. It gives out in this little thing. You can also see it right here visually. If you just walk past it, it throws out water and salt with like 2.1 salt per water bottle. And it's the, uh, the big water bottles that come out of it. And it consumes a lot of power. That's why I did do something else over here. In one of the compartments you can already see it. The plants have been moved here because this is a bioreactor where they get fermented and turned into power. Just to be able to sustain that water filtration machine on the other side. And this is uh, where I sleep. And I put uh, the first picture here. The picture of my sister uh, with the cat. And I have this great view and I cannot access this. I cannot go in for whatever reason. Also while I went around and was lost for 20 minutes in the Omega cave uh, I found a lot of blueprints. So what I found was uh, two of them you see on the side there that's um, the sea truck afterburner and the sea truck horsepower upgrade. I also found a part of an aquarium module. I can see show that to you here better. So what I did found find was this the sea truck aquarium module which sucks fishes in from the environment uh, and stores it inside so that you have fresh fish with you. Uh, also one part of the docking module, which is a module where the prawn suit can be attached to the sea truck, which is a thing I'm looking out for. They were all in sea monkey nests near, uh, near Omega. Uh, one part of the grappling arm for uh, the prawn suit, which is a thing that I definitely want. And the afterburner upgrade and the horsepower upgrade. That's the things I found there. What else? There's one thing else, which is two parts of the ultra high capacity tank. So the next upgrade to our O2 bar. And that was that. Good, good. I also recorded that, but it's just me being lost in a cave and scanning uh, sea monkey nests. It's just not really worth showing. And since we uh, have a full battery here, let's recharge this thing and de-equip it again. Um, I don't need it actually anymore, so let's put the laser cutter there. But I've got a huge array of things that I want to craft. But I actually want to start with uh, the upgrades for the sea truck. Horsepower upgrade and the afterburner upgrade, which should immediately get demarked here. What can I build here? Are uh, the prawn suit storage module, which we'll need in a second, and the drill arm. So we have everything done there. Uh, which was the other thing I built? That one. Okay. 
and only need to construct the prawn suit itself. Oh god, it's glitching sometimes. But we wanted to uh, put the upgrades inside, which is the afterburner speed upgrade and the horsepower upgrade. So it will now be faster and be able to truck more modules in the back. Which is, I still don't know how I would put the modules on. We'll find out as soon as I get the first one. Also, do I still have a small water bottle? Yes. That's one of the disinfected, yeah. Okay, let's build. And there it is. Water's ready. So it comes in here. Why don't I have food with me? Ah, oh, yeah, because uh, the plants weren't ready and I ate all my conserved food. Nicht pack. Not pack up, not pack up, just climb. Modules. Ah, the modules are also built here. Okay. Good to know. But it's the prawn suit that we wanted to build. And look at it in all its glory. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. That's the perfect place to put it. Okay. So, access upgrades. First of all, let's put in the drill arm. And the storage module. Otherwise, let's just show you what what's what. Very simple. Let's Welcome enter the process. I like the uh, different voices for the different vehicles. Sadly, I think we won't get... Does this have? Yeah, it does have. Oh no, it's directly behind the camera. Okay, I can't see it. And you can't see it. It's not good. Oh, there's no space in there. So we'll... Oh. Uh oh We need it to wait for it to recharge. I think it died. Picked up the bladder fish. And now we can go up. And place it here. Good. Uh, it will have gotten a new beacon. So let's see, where is it? Bronze suit will also get green. Is it now in storage? Yes, it is in storage. I killed it, so I thought it would be nice to actually use it. So with the bronze suit, we should now be able to properly explore the copper mining site because there's like different resource nodes over there, in there, down there, and they would be now be, uh, we would now be able to, um, to properly use them. But for now, our next target was the architect sanctuary down there, which is a thing that I want to do with the sea truck. We'll use the prawn suit more often once we get the docking thing. There, so the archi architect sanctuary, we got that from listening to that one audio log in Odd Outpost Zero. Let's go there. I assume it's in one of the deeper trenches. And I'm actually surprised that I didn't stumble upon it because I explored here very thoroughly and there's basically almost no material left here yeah it's right where that thing was okay right where that thing was where I said hey that's alien technology I should have just entered the cave but I didn't yeah there's more blinking stuff here I need to get out to scan all the things because we want storage module stuff that's normal sea truck 
Let's see, glide. Uh, where did I crash? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No worries, we'll fit through. I'm halfway certain we'll fit, we'll fit through. Yeah, it's the same Morse code thing we got when we first entered this area. Let's go. There it is, the Architect Sanctuary. Get ready to scan everything. Also, what's that? A creature egg, a new one. There's a second one of the... I don't want that! I never wanted that, I never activated that. Why does the freaking map always open? Okay. Let's try to scan stuff here. We can't scan the basic structure. Section power critical. Hello? Is someone there? In a manner of speaking. We're running out of time. They answer to me. Device of Alien Origin, although its design is relatively simple, its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure okay, than to deter invaders. Otherwise it's uh, like roughly crab shaped or spider shaped. <coughs> I think it has six arms, so it's crap, not what spider. What is all this? Seeking information, six storage museum. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage museum identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. It will have to do, okay. But Altera went here also. Apparently. Could have also gone over the bridge to reach this. Thus, I want to see whether something scannable is here. Like everything. Like we want... Basically, the mo thing we want most is uh, iron cubes and the technology uh, that's going with them. Like iron batteries and iron um, power cells. Great, I don't think we can make that. Good, we have to run around again. Drink that water. Iron cubes few of them. I'll take all of them. These were important for some endgame recipes in the last game. But apparently they have a virtual presence here. Oh, big iron cube. How long have you been stored here? Longer than hope. Warning. Sanction power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Yes, okay. Hurrying. I don't th think I trust them. Storage medium accepted. Brace to Chester. Brace? I am the storage medium. 
atmosphere. The same thing happening again. The same thing. Transfer complete. Stupid humans never learn. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This isn't happening. This is not happening. It is. That's the explanation. It's not happening. It is. It's, I wanted to scan that directly. Don't need to think to show up. Architect Containment Cube. Um, while advanced human civilization has attempted for centuries to develop successful whole brain emulation techniques, it appears that the architect race has built a platform for accomplishing the holy grail of life extension technology. Physically, the containment cube appears to be comprised of a redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers supporting a hyperdense capacity of 35 bits per electron. 35 bits per electron, okay. The energy field that feeds a suspended animated cube also serves to power the operating software, allowing the intelligence and storage to maintain consciousness throughout the storage period. Once the stored consciousness has been transferred out of the cube, the component parts will become inert. Without witnessing and carefully observing the backup process, it is difficult to ascertain how the transfer works and whether or not the process is tru truly lossless. Okay. And that's why we went here, because they, I mean, they sent a distress call and I went here to uh, talk to them again. And now we can run out again. Got a few more iron cubes, why not? Did we lose the last iron cube? I don't remember one being in my in my in my storage space when I reorganized uh might be under miscellaneous. Might be under miscellaneous. Yeah falling damage from one and a half meters, yeah yeah. I assume we'll learn something from them at some point. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. Please call me Al Am. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient, space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. The precursor race? But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> yeah, but... Yeah, we got, got iron cubes, we got voice lock, yes. But uh, I want blueprint for. She's. They said they gave me the blueprint. No, they didn't give me one. Whatever. Ah, now there it is. Architect storage media. While we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, 
there's some effort and a comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. We have set it on a popular format for these media, though there are exceptions. It is a heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaptation, and is easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe, provided consistent power supply. However, unique perspective and traits which arose from the inter play with the original medium are lost. It's like a factory reset. It is recommended in vivarius be stored to a compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprint and material. While it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves at infinitum, such behavior is considered beyond root and any self-respecting architect would, would resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. Uh -huh. So, I wanted this. That's also a sea truck fa fragment. That also? That's also a sea truck fragment. I want uh, docking compartments, storage compartments and the like. Okay, uh, but we didn't get a proper blueprint. I want a proper blueprint for that. Whatever, we were exactly here and you were that. I could have just gone into the cave, but I forgot about that cave. Um, that's the afterburner that I activated. There's a, like a countdown going on, on the, in the third slot at the bottom of the screen. And super speed has stopped. I don't know. What about that? No, I can't activate number four. Good. Let's place that back inside here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And put my iron cubes in storage. In that storage, I suppose. Yeah, there they are. With four of them. Just wanted to show you how the sword looks if it's inside. It's like that. Sort here, put the creature egg here. Uh, nothing more we need, we need to eat. That's why we have our biological storage right here. Two should be enough. Ah, eat a third one, just give me one. And this is not done yet. Good. Um, yeah, then what do we do next? Uh, as the architect sanctuary can now be unmarked. We've been at the copper mining site. Uh, we've, we're not ready, uh, done with the Mercury 2. We can't return to Omega because we don't have active deactivated the satellite yet. And we're missing the parallel processing unit, I think. Uh, don't need to return to Omega now, don't need to return to Architect Sanctuary. Uh, wait a second. Uh, sorry. Uh, I think that's that. We don't need to return to Data Station. Yeah, it's Mercury next. It's either Mercury next. Can you stop having stuff marked as unread if it's red? Please, it's red. Long red. Thank you. Um, the other thing that we can do is if we look on our map, it's fire. Fire is the only thing that we're missing. Uh, other than going into the breakage with laser cutters. No. Fine, I'll do it in the water. Wrong. The laser cutter back there. Enter. No! W and down is not W and up. Very distinct game.
good. We have water with us. Uh, only other. Okay, let's go to the Mercury to wait. On my way back, I saw something from placing the beacon Omega. Okay, it's the same way. I went the straight way back instead of going past Delta Station, uh, as we always did, and I saw something else, and I want to show that to you. And also I saw something on the other side of the stern of the Mercury too. You remember you? That was the ship where we got uh, the... Um, uh, God damn it. Uh, like the message from our PDA that it found something below us. And then we dived there and there was the big... Uh, big ship there. I think it might be slightly leftish from here. By the way, this is the area with the lithium. Okay. We slower again. This is where I went when I wanted to get lithium. So that's what I found on my way there. Wait, that's this one. Hmm. I wanted to show you something. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to show you something and I think it was on this cliff here. Okay, we are in a better biome now with uh, now with uh, better range on our side. Oh, there's something that we want. That's the aquarium module, the mo one that I'm least keen on, and that's the last part of it. That's also aquarium. This looks exactly like the one I found before. Okay, we can now get fish by just driving past it. Great. It's the most useless thing to find. I went from that straight to base. And I found something. There was another part. That's no, that's the that's the Omega base. I I have to show you. That is important. I have to refine that. Problem is, this biome doesn't have as much uh, like sight. You can't look as far. God damn it, where is it? Down there somewhere? There it is. That's what I found by swimming the most direct way possible. Okay, let's find ourselves. Like this is the, the, I think that's the booster section, like the back of the ship. This is definitely a smaller part and I didn't get a message when I came here. I don't think there will be a proper entrance. We have to go from from below go in from below then. No, nope, there is my entrance. There also an entrance? No, nope, just looked like it. Good. Let's go inside. Metal salvage. That's not a cut of a door, it just looks like one. Copper wire is always good. Battery, yeah, we might need batteries at some point. Um, wait, where did we come in? Here. 
I need to orient myself properly and it's not easy because I made myself faster again than I need to be. A power cell, why not? The door. Okay, that's slow. Ah. Peril processing unit fragment. One of three fra- It's in the ships? Come on, share. Upper wire. A jukebox disc. Miracle of sound something. Okay, I think that's all we'll find in here. There's one we need to cut open. We'll do that in a second. A jukebox thing. That's nice. That's a nice find. Haven't seen that before. This. That made a weird noise. That made the noise that I don't want to hear when I uh, when I uh, read reactor rod. Um, go in. Show. Show inventory. Reactor rod used to power nuclear generate uh, reactors. Okay. Okay. Um, not nice. What are the blueprints that I found? I already forgot it. In that. Plasti enamel glass wiring kit, no problem. Uh, I'm completely out of silver, out of crystal, and out of titanium, and out of lithium. So <laughs> I'll have to farm again for that. What else is new? Uh, the command chair. Yeah, okay. No need to, to, to pin that. Okay. Good. That's the thing that I found by uh, driving past it. Mm -hmm.